What's up, guys? I'm Crazy Egg. Welcome back to El Sword. It's time for the Rune Slayer series once again, as there is a Lenox Secret Dungeon now. There's actually a Lenox Secret Dungeon. Every time I say Lenox Secret Dungeon now, I actually have to be referring to the Lenox one and not the Sander one, like I always did before. So that's fun. Also, because there's an event, you can do this dungeon on any day of the week right now. But then in the future, it's going to be like... Oh, uh, it'll be like this one where it's like, oh, only on Thursday. I think Lenox one said Monday when it was when it was um, when it was locked. But there is this thing that you can get from the mail, and you can go into it whenever. So hopefully this episode works the first time. Because if it doesn't, I'm not gonna be able to get it recorded again until tomorrow. So that's fun. And there's also this thing. This is the, the the secret dungeon equipment from the Lenox secret dungeon that we can wear. So I'm gonna do that. It's probably gonna be worse than my current stuff. Wow, it's significantly worse than my current stuff. I feel like I should not actually be wearing this. Yeah, that's gonna go badly if I do that. That's way lower. Yeah, I'm keeping my current stuff. My current stuff is like plus eight and plus nine, so screw that set. Whatever. I mean, like I said, I should wear it because it kind of goes with the motif, but whatever, man. I don't, I'm not gonna lower my stats that much just so I can wear it, so whatever. Anyway, so Mentha's with us. Mentha's been having some internet problems, so if he disconnects halfway through, we will forgive him and curse the blue demons that run the internet and tell them to stop cutting out his internet. But anyway, it's time for the actual dungeon. Grand Cavern, Chasm of Divided Land versus Source of Demonic Energy. I feel like I could have named that one a little better. But anyway, start with current members. Let's do it. I actually haven't seen this dungeon at all. This is completely blind for me. I know I've been given a couple tips by Menthu, who has played the dungeon, about the boss. Who has an affectionate name of Dirt Blob? That's what we're going to call him. That's his name now. Um, but other than that, I have seen nothing of this dungeon. So everything I know here is only stuff from from Lenox in general. All right. I also see you're wondering. I only have one Awakening Bee, but I'm Awakening anyway because I have the uh, set effect. I'm zoomed in. Or no, no, that's just the that's just the stage. All right. So I have the set effect from the Bethma set, so that's why I'm Awakening more. And like I said, I could wear the Lenox one, but I just feel like it's a stupid idea to lower my stats that much. You don't hurt as much as I thought you would. That barely did any damage to me. Now, stuff is probably going to hurt later on in the dungeon, but eh. Also, I have my raid skills in, but honestly, they're ki it's kind of like a hybrid set. Um, I kind of use the same skills for raid as I do for everything else on pretty much all my characters. The only exception is my deadly chaser, who uh, he has one skill that I use in dungeons that I never use in raid. Which is the, uh, oh, what's it called? It's the one that shoots a cannonball straight forward. I don't remember the name right now. Um, it costs about 200 MP. I can recognize the icon if I saw it. I just remember the name of it. Because who actually needs the names? Like, who really needs the names? Like, really? Also, I'm going to run out of those mana potions if I keep this up. Die. That was so unnecessary, but I feel like doing it. Ooh, gimme. Magic power aura. Oh, okay. Yeah, debuff. Great. No, that's what I wanted when I picked that up. Thank you very much. But I will say... Considering some of the other secret dungeons look like exactly like previous dungeons, repeated textures and everything, like the Bethel one, except for Ludo mode, it looks exactly the same. Except uh, it could be different now, but anyway, um, it looks basically the same. Ooh, cutscene. That is a that is a circle of energy, and it's destroying the cave. Great. Yeah, I know. I really want stuff falling on my head. Great. Okay, this looks a little more like the. Oh, okay, that's lava. Um, this looks more like the original, ah, god, the original dungeons. But, uh, the previous floors had a bit of a different look to them. Even though they were still much, very much the same, like, theme as the original Lenox dungeons, they did, they still looked a little different. Kind of hard to quantify, but can, can you just, just die, please? Die! Thank you! Have a good day, sir. I'm gonna go this way. That hurt, too. Did that curse me? Ah, lava! Ah, <laughs> I was warned about this! And I just, I just threw caution to the wind. I'm like, I don't care if it's lava. Also, screen flashes should be off, I think. I really hope they are, because I really would have to have another episode of screen flashes everywhere. Okay. Can you just, can you not, please? Can you please not? Is that a thing you can do? Da, 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 da. Is that guy buffed? Oh, geez. No, thank you. I'd rather not die today. I do have complete recovery potions, but I'm running low in general, considering how much I use them on raid. Um, so I am kind of running low in general, so I'm trying to use them too much. Okay, really? You're just gonna- you're just gonna sit down there and be a dick. I'm gonna put that there and just let you burn. Burn, bitch! Burn! Die! Die! Thank you. Ah, jeez! Also, because it's Harmony Festival right now, I have ice cream. Which not only- ah, jeez. Eh! 
which not only fully heals me, or not fully heals me, uh, 50% heals me, but it also, it also gives you 70% mana, unlike the Harvest Festival pie that they gave you before. But honestly, I prefer pie to ice cream, so I don't know. I, I feel like I would probably take the ice cream if I had the choice. Okay, I need, I need something with a wide berth. Or not, because Mentu just killed everything. But I was going to do this. Boom! I should have Phoenix Talon equipped, and I don't. Because there's no way I'm going to use Triple Geyser in this. But whatever. That's fine. Triple Geyser is very much a raid skill for me. I really don't need it in dungeons. Phoenix Talon would be much more beneficial, I think, right now. But whatever. Like I said, I have my raid skills in. They're not that much worse, though. They still work pretty well for most scenarios. Oink! Yeah, I love that skill. That skill is great. Alrighty. So yeah, I'm feeling um, like when I, I mentioned that some of the the lava stuff there was very similar to the very first. Oh, we have to go back now. Oh, cool. Um, was very similar to the first floor of I think Grand Cavern, um, but the original Grand Cavern, not this. Oh, okay, no. Okay, that was meant to be on the bottom floor, but I was dying down there, so I panicked. I'm sorry, I panicked. What are you gonna do? Um, but this the the way they have like the the statues in the background and stuff. Okay, you, you're gonna need to come up here, buddy. I am fighting you down there. Come down. Come up. Come up here. Okay, now I'm gonna burn you to death because I can. That's right. That's a bit of a waste of the awakening, but eh, whatever. But yeah, I really like like the vast designs in the background and stuff. It actually, it feels better. It feels cooler than um, than the original Lenox Dungeons did. I very much like that. That's cool. Boink! All right. Proceed onward. And this reminds me of very much of the um, last field of Lenox, actually. The way they have this particular design set up. Okay, come on. Get over the thing. Boink. I was hoping to get all of them in there, but I missed the guy on the left. Sorry, Mentu. Ow. That hurt. Don't do that. Jerk. Boink. And awaken. No, awaken, I said. Awaken. Because it, it raises my crit and gives me this little aura effect that actually damages them. Die. Okay, really? How much health do you have? These guys are just, like, so powerful. I think it's because they're super armored constantly, but... They're so much more powerful than the ones I remember from, like, Fields and earlier Lenox Dungeons. And, man, I don't like these guys at all. Come on. Get out of here. Ugh. Yeah, stay on my rune. Stay on my rune. Keep taking my hits. Thank you, sir. You have a good day now. Next. Also, I don't know what uh, set Menthu is rocking. People keep asking me about the gear for Menthu's set. Okay, so... There's five demonic sealing orbs. Something about five demonic sealing orbs. We have to find them and destroy them, I think. Uh, there's one. I found one. Destroy it. Yes. And there's an egg over there. Give me, even though I did not need that at all. That's okay. There is a sealing orb here. I'm going to destroy it. Da, 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 da. I think we're supposed to destroy them anyway. I hope we're not supposed to protect them. Because I was not doing a very good job of that. Okay. Oh. Oh, is it time? Is it already time? Oh, no. Oh, strengthen the monsters. Okay, fine. I thought it was, I thought it was the boss time, but... Okay, really? Can we? Thank you. That's what I wanted. Actually, I should not have used that because it's a minute cooldown on that, but whatever. It is what it is. I used one of the, the Harmony Festival things, which 50% healing is pretty good for a free item. Like, they're free. You just go get them from the Alchemist for free. But it has a minute cooldown, so it is better to use it less often. Okay, do I, we have to destroy those now? Oh, no. They just, they just went away. All right, fine. Like I want to, okay, what just happened there? I don't know what anything is in this dungeon. Die. Demonic energy is Oh, no. More strength and monsters. Yay. Can I get a hip, hip, hooray from the audience? Everyone, hip, hip, hooray. Okay, more more destroying orbs. Uh, over here. I need to awaken. Oink. I haven't been awakening. I'm bad. Okay, there's one. And... Hey, I actually hit it. I didn't think I was going to hit it. I didn't think it would last long enough, but it totally did. It was a perfect shot. It was beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do this because I can. Oh, no, I don't have enough mana. Now I do, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably a pretty terrible idea to do that. Because I think the boss is coming up soon, and I'd rather use it on him. So kind of a good thing that I was two mana short of actually being able to do my hyper. All right, guys. Can you just get out of here? Just, just get out of here. Also, yeah, they, uh, they altered sword fire a little bit in the last revamp, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. Um, because the fire lasts a lot less time. The buff changed a little bit too. I'm not exactly sure how. But it did have a bug. Um, for about a week or two weeks, whatever their update cycle was. Whenever you use it... Okay, really stop hitting me. Just like, seriously stop. 
Um, it would always go through whatever floor you were standing on. So if you used it on the ground, you would always go downward. So it was a big problem in um, in Eltrion Phase Two. I think I actually mentioned it uh, when that when that first when I first did that video. I think I actually first or mentioned it then that you could just go straight through the platform. And they, they finally fixed that. But uh, honestly, I was getting used to it. I was always casting it in the air and whatnot. Nope. Ah, crap. Oh well. Two beads of awakening. Whatever, man. It is what it is. And clear. Uh, I can get a blueberry. Not that it matters, because I have full mana! Yay! Okay, I'm going to use triple geyser, because I see two buffed enemies there. I only hit one of them, but I saw two. There were two there. Like I said, that's not a super... U At least I find it's not a super useful move for dungeons. I find it much better for... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I find it's much better for raid. Mostly because he sits still... Mo like his, his movements are predictable, and you can get like all the geyser hits in on on him as like a single target. Whereas I feel like a lot of it, hello, In and Jin. Well, we didn't see enough of you in the non-secret dungeons. We had to find find you here too. Fine, whatever. No, it is what it is. Bring it on. Uh, I guess I guess Jin is just gonna stand over there and do whatever while we fight In over here. Ow. Not necessary. Die, burn, burn and die. Die and burn. Burn. That wasn't the burn move. That was totally the wrong move. But I think that was actually a better one to use there. So I'm standing behind that decision. Get back this way. Okay. Ah. Stop with the black holes. Stop it. Stop with the black holes. Not continue doing them and piss me off even more. Like, stop. Like, actually stop. Alright. Okay. You are really annoying me. You're really annoying me. Even though I know your moves from the... Okay. Even though I know your moves from the actual dungeons. And now Jin is joining us, so that's good. So now it's two on, well, two on two. I guess it was two on one before. I guess I shouldn't complain too loudly because I do have Menthu helping me here. I was very concerned I was going to have to do this episode without him. And that was, like, highly concerning to me. Because I was pretty sure I was going to die repeatedly if I had to do this by myself. And it probably would have happened. A lot. But then again, I'm not taking as much damage as I thought I would here. So I guess my plus nine and plus eight armor is actually doing pretty well for me. Alrighty. Wow, what a good boss name. Form of mutated energy. Mutated demonic energy. Wow, that's re real creative, guys. I prefer calling him the Dirt Blob because it's it's just a blob of goo. It's just all he is. I mean, yes, he has, like, armor on the outside, and that's cool and all, but he's just a blob of goo. Like, seriously, he's just a blob of goo. Who, who said, let's just make a blob of goo and stick him in some armor? Whatever, it is what it is, but there are far better bosses boss choices. Honestly, I think one simple thing they could have done... Oh, geez, that's a thingy on the bottom. Oh, no. No. Ah! Okay, good thing that wasn't very long because I wasn't ready to stay up there in the air. Okay. Um, one thing I think they could have done is actually make him, like, demonic energy, not goo. Like, actually, like, the energy orbs around him. Make his body more like that. I think that would have been way cooler. Ah, no. That's... That was a bad thing. No. Oh, geez. Okay. Yay, mana break. Mana break for the win. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Also, the lava is going up. Yes, you're not crazy. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, that's right. I can... Oh, jeez. Eh. I went too early on that one. Ow. Okay, I'm good. We're good. No, I'm alive. Use that and use that and then fully heal. And it's time for this. I don't know if there's a better time to use my hyper or not because I never fought the boss before. But I figured it seemed like a good enough time. And yes, I'm going to save that harmony ice cream for when I'm low on health. Okay. Critical sword. Also, is that Menthu's pet? Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was my pet healing me, and I'm like, but I have full health. I don't need pet healsies right now. Ah, what, is, what? What doing? What doing? Okay, you're just you're just punishing the ground for its sins. All right, I can deal with that. That's his. Uh, I think it's called the haymaker attack, and he just uh, ah, the dark haymaker, and he just pounds the ground and then makes the lava come up, which is not a fun thing. I mean, it depends on who you ask. I think he very much enjoys the lava. I don't so much. And now I'm out of mana potions. So I have to rely on my ice cream and my complete heelsies to get me through the rest of this fight. Boink. Oh, there's a platform there. I didn't even know there was a platform there. Cool beans. 
I was expecting to fall straight through down to the lava below. This is kind of like Brinstar. Like, do you guys ever play Smash Bros. 64? This reminds me of the Brinstar level. Ow, ow, ow. Please don't. Ah, Menthu! No, Menthu, no! Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, just dodge. I somehow still hit you, but you mostly dodged that. No, ow, 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 ow. Nope. Up and out of the... Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm in the... Okay, no, we're good. We're good. And now I gotta get through him. Through him to the other side. Ow, okay. Actually, I was supposed to be behind him there for that attack, but whatevs, man. It is what it is. It just happened, so let's just deal with it the best we can. He's almost down. We almost got this. Yes, just stay on the... No, stay on the platforms. Stay on the platforms. The platforms are our saviors. Yes! Yeah, baby. We defeated the dirt blob. The amorphous blob of demonic energy that is for some reason a blob and not just, like... Gaseous energy. Gaseous energy? Gaseous that energy? Wasn't even, that wasn't, even a warm -up. wasn't even a warm up. Yeah, Elboy's a little cocky about that kind of thing, but yay! How'd we do? A rank? Not bad for my first attempt at this dungeon ever. I didn't die, so that's a thing. And yay! 91,000. 91 million damage. 91,000 damage. That would be sad. That would be really sad. Also, I hate that pop up. I hate that pop up so much. I could rant, like, I could literally extend this video by, like, five minutes talking about how bad that pop-up is. Just its mere existence. But anyway, we cleared the event dungeon, the last secret dungeon. Yay! They got dual magic stone random cubes. Yay! We did it! So, that is the Lenox secret dungeon. Go give it a shot during the event. You just gotta get a thing from the mail that's, like, an entry thing. Um, I think you only get one per character, though. It's not per account, because I have at least one on each of my characters, but... Um, I think you only get one per character, so go use it, give it a shot. But the dungeon's open on Monday, so it was open yesterday, and it'll be open next Monday. And we just gotta get used to only being able to go into certain dungeons on certain days, which is... Kinda silly, but whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not sure when the next Elsword video will be. Probably Eltrion make Mark III. I keep saying make, God damn it. Um, Eltrion Mark III will probably be the next one. But, uh, yeah, some other stuff coming to the channel soon. Hopefully, hopefully gonna get consoles hooked up to recording soon so I can expand my repertoire of actual games that I play. But anyway, that's all this episode, so thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. That is not something I expected. Okay, get away from me, you pervs! Get away from me! Step away from the child! Okay, who wants this place to die? And honestly, I kinda do too, so... Kind of support his decision here. Unfortunately, the game is not going to let me do that. <laughs>